today. The first time I've checked in in a long time in this medium. Um, there's been a lot that's happened. Um, I'm gonna open up my reminder, my cheat sheet for the questions. So how have I utilized my ramp? Um, one thing I did yesterday was recognize a gap in my wrap that um, as I was experiencing some pretty awful nausea, I remembered when we got to our location that um, I can have Pepto-Bismol again. So I asked Ben to remind me to put that into, you know, to put that into my wrap. And if I'm struggling with nausea, that that is a tool that can be used again. Um, I was on a pretty heavy diuretic that didn't allow uh, bismus to be utilized. Um, and I've been off of that for quite some time now, so don't need to do that. Um, what part of my wrap do I need to put my focus on? Um, I think just really zeroing in on the daily maintenance as I start work a week from yesterday. I think I might have a couple days next week that are not actually on campus. One that's that Monday is just going to be, I think, um, final onboarding stuff. And then I think I actually start PD on Wednesday. Uh, I'll, I think I need to print out the PD and kind of plan around that and look at stuff. Um, um, so making sure that my daily maintenance is locked down, um, I think is big. Um, how do I plan to support myself today and in this season? Um, so today is pretty much over, but I did a lot of good support for myself. I did get up and do start yoga with Ben this morning and my body was telling me, Ooh, I am tired. So I first went to child's pose and breathed there for a while while Ben continued doing yoga. And then I moved into Shavasana corpse pose lying on my back and um, Ben finished and I did not. And that was great. Um, and I ended up sleeping until noon. So, um, I, my sleep debt was about four and a half hours when I woke up or when I went to bed last night and I went to bed later than I should have and got up at the, at the right time. So it made sense. Um, I think I'm caught up. So that bodes well. I'm going to bed at a reasonable hour tonight, which is good. Um, done a lot of changes. <laughs> I, um, so my travels were wonderful and um, good reprieve and reset. Um, and then this weekend did a lot of drinking, a lot of um, indulgence in general, and uh, Ben and I were gonna start a um, diet starting Sunday, and we pushed that to Monday because I needed to get to Costco and things like that. And sanity is more important than starting on a specific day. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about that on here. I think I'm going to do separate video check-ins about that because um, I know dietary things um, and restrictive things can be triggering for people So, um, in my community. So I'm not going to do that there. I'll do it separately um, or here um, on the main side of things. But um, yeah, I think it's things are going well um i'm making i have my final things that i kind of need to take care of before work starts i feel like they're achievable um right now since i kind of need them to hit me over the head i have them as reminders on my phone and i just keep changing the time back if i haven't completed the task yet um and that seems to be working pretty well so far um Yeah, I later today I did 
do um, I restarted center yoga with Adrian the 30 days um, because I noticed that um, although Ben and I are more than halfway through at this point I would like to restart because it's such a good one and um, that's a nice way for me to refocus things um, My good friend Kit is back in the area, which is wonderful. We went for a walk yesterday. Um, it's lovely to have her and her husband local. Um, it's been years, so it's really nice. Um, I'm excited to engage in that more. Um, and yeah, I've got some walks lined up the rest of the week. Um, I have some social options and opportunities that may or may not pan out this week. We're going to meet with um, our potential next roommate, do dinner with him, and kind of talk what that looks like um, and get that a little bit more explicit and clear. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, I've finished reading all of the things that I assigned for myself between now and work besides um, uh, management that changed the world or whatever the book is that I have posted. Um, and I've started that, um, but I just finished listening to designing your life today. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how to prototype becoming a full-time facilitator. And part of that is inviting people in on that journey with me. So I'm figuring out <laughs> what frequency and things like that I want to invite people in there's a few people I want to target but um we'll see if they want to join in um got to celebrate one of my best buddies from high school's engagement party um had some throwbacks from high school which was fun um and always entertaining um and Ben and I got more time with um another high school friend's baby who we went out with on Friday night. Um, so that was Saturday night. It was just hanging out and getting dolled up and I had a lot of fun and um, it was lovely to reconnect with people. I had identified all the potential triggers going into the evening and uh, when they arose, I was able to, you know, remind myself that I'd prepared for it and that, um, I don't need to stress about them um, because I I know. So um, yeah, and um, yeah, trying to do a lot more identification of potential triggers, which is is um, just takes a little bit of time, but makes a big difference in the moment because I'm not caught off guard. I I know that it can't, that things can happen. I, I will bump into, you know, the client who I dumped because of my health at the start of January because um, they're relatives <laughs> and, you know, things like that. So, um, and, you know, I need to keep track of how much I'm drinking with an open bar and that's going to be a trigger for me, um, just, or a potential pitfall because I'm not always very good about tracking how much I'm drinking. I just, enjoy. Um, and yeah, so it, it, it helps me pre-plan. I was able to kind of give the quick summary to Ben on our way over. We Ubered there so we could Uber back um, because we were going to drink what we wanted. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I have just a few days left before starting work. Um, there's a million things I want to do um, and I'm just prioritizing because that's what we have to do. Um, um, wrap overview again, we've got our key concepts of hope, personal responsibility, education, self-advocacy and support. I feel like I'm doing all of those rather well at the moment. Um, I'm developing and building out my wellness toolbox consistently. Um, my daily maintenance plan, as I said, I want to kind of really 
hammer that in these last few days before work starts. Um, stressors and action plans for stressors. I've been doing that really well. Um, early warning signs and action plans for early warning signs. Um, yeah, I'm, I've started to do that specifically with physiological things with my health. Um, depression is the hardest one for me to identify early. So I want to kind of pay closer attention to that and do some maybe deeper reflection on that. Um, when things are breaking down or getting much worse and action plans for them, um, that's a little easier. It's funny that early warning signs, I have a little bit more uh, hangups rather than the stressors, which are, you know, before and when things are breaking down, which are after. Um, interesting. I kind of do extremes well, I think. Um, and crisis planning or better than the early stuff, if that makes sense. Um, crisis planning, I think I'm, um, yeah, fleshing that out better. Um, and I am, I think, still in post-crisis plan and we're figuring that stuff out. I'm kind of figuring out budgetarily what that looks like, um, getting debt-free, um, as I'll have income again, which is nice. Um, as well as what we should prioritize uh, potentially above paying off that debt as fast as we can, which I don't think there's anything, but um, exploring the options rather than having the decision just made for us by being passive. Um, what did I take away from this time um, that I missed doing these check-ins, but I was, Part of it was self-preservation and I was tired from my journals and also journeys and trying to stay present in my travels. So um, I'm not unhappy with that choice. I just, um, I'm glad that I'm choosing to re-engage with this medium. Um, what am I going to do for my wellness between now and when I next check in? Um, focus on my daily maintenance and leaning into the things that I've committed to and um, continuing to give myself grace where, where appropriate and asking for accountability when I'm struggling with holding myself to um, appropriate standards. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm excited that I have my actual rap group tomorrow. It'll be good to see everyone's faces who does get to show up. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy and, and content. So um, yeah, take care.